Python for Beginners. A series of lectures on Python language with real-life problems and their solutions by Imran's. Our second lecture on Python conditional, logical operators and loops. Please subscribe to our channel for getting updated videos right away. If command is used to write a conditional expression of code. If the condition is true, the next block of code is executed. We use colon after if command. Next line of code is indented to show a block of code. You can use tab to insert indentation. This example shows a criteria to shortlist candidates for job interview. The criteria is age, if age is less than or equal to 30, the candidate is eligible for the job. If this condition is not met then else command is executed which will print that you are not eligible for the job. We run the code by changing age to see what happens. Now, we have another scenario. We have added another criteria for experience. Here we have also used logical operators. Our condition to become true is, if the candidate's age is less than and equal to 30, an experience should be greater than 5 years. Though, our candidate meet the experience criteria but age does not fall under that bracket. So, candidate will not be eligible for the position. Let's introduce another logical operator, OR. Now, candidate can be selected if either of conditions is met. Experience requirement is fulfilled now. So, Mr. X is eligible for the job as per our appended criteria. Our third logical operator is, NOT. As per our revised criteria, if age is not less than or equal to 30, and experience is greater than 5 years, the candidate will qualify. As you can check. DateTime is an inbuilt module of Python but we need to import it in our program. We can make its name short by giving any name to it, say, DT. We can use the code to get current time or current year or month or hour. As we show it for you, we shall use our function in our next code. You would have noticed that our is given is 24 time format, we shall use it in else if command. We have learned in previous section to use if and else command to show a conditional code. We define with if statement about the output to generate if the condition is met. Else, the other block of code is executed. We can use else if statement if we want to direct Python to move forward to check if the first condition is not met. The second condition is then checked, and so on. We can also use else command if neither of else if command is true. Here is a short program that you may use in your future projects. When you enter your name, you will be greeted as per time of the day. We use input command to find your name. Then we use date time function to find hour of the day. We use if command to print good morning if time is between 6 and 12 hours. If time is not within this slot, else if command gives an alternative. It prints good afternoon if time is between 12 and 18 hours slot, while good evening if time slot is 18 to 22. If none of these conditions is met, then, else command is executed to print good night.
for loop, iterates through a sequence. Just like if command, we use colon after for, an indentation for the block of code. We have used for command to iterate a string, ABC. The loop will end when it will print all the letters in the string. We may use else command, optionally to print finished once loop has ended. We may add a condition in the loop with if statement. According to condition, whenever letter B is found, the loop will end. Only letter A will be printed. Please notice that we have used break command to jump out of the loop. In case of break command, else command is not executed. If we use continue command instead of break command, it make program to jump over one step. So, A and C will be printed. Now, else command will be executed. We have now two loops X and Y. The first element of outer loop X will run with every element of inner loop Y. Then, second element of of X will be repeated with every element of Y loop. Sometimes, we need to use loop at later stages of the program. So we can use pass statement to leave loop execution. We use range function to loop through a given range of numbers. In this example, range is 6. So, loop will run from 0 to 5. By default, it starts from 0 and ends before last number, with increment of 1. We can modify for start by providing starting number. As we have provided one as start number, so it starts from 1 now. We can also mention the increment number as third parameter. We have used 2 as increment number. So output will be 1, 3, 5. Taking advantage of range function, we can find table of any number. In this example, we shall print table of number 7. We have used range of number 11 so table will be printed from 0 to 10. We can modify to start the loop at 1 and end at 10 by providing the start number as 1. Now, table will be printed from 1 to 10. Just like for loop, the while loop is also used to iterate through a sequence. We have defined a variable count with initial value of 1. While loop will keep on running unless the number becomes more than 5, as per given condition. If we run the program without increasing the count, the program will run forever theoretically, or it will end up our machine resources. We would need to stop this program manually. So, we add a code which increments the count variable by 1. So, after 5 cycles, the while loop stops. Numbers from 1 to 5 are printed. We can also add an optional else command at the end, which will print once the loop is stopped. We use random number function in this program to choose a number between 1 to 5 by the computer. 
We shall try to find that number in three tries. If one finds within that limit, one will win. Otherwise, it will be a failure. We shall use the while loop. It will terminate if either of two conditions is met. That is if counter has reached the limit of three, or, you have guessed the correct number. It means that, y, becomes equal to x. Then, we use print command that you are a winner and the break command to jump out of loop. Else, program will print that the number you guessed is not correct. It will also mention your remaining tries, which is calculated by subtracting counter from 3. In the end, counter is increment by 1 and the loop is run again. It is same like writing counter is equal to counter plus 1. Let's run our program. Wow! I won! And again! You can challenge yourself by modifying the code to include two players and declaring the winner whosoever win, or, in lesser tries if both win. Same program, with for loop also shown. It is very simple program to calculate two numbers for different operators. We use the while loop which is only terminated if we select E to exit the loop with the help of break command. Otherwise, the program will continue forever. We choose the required operation from the provided list. For example, plus sign for addition. In case, we wrongly entered any function, which is not there in the list. Then, else command is executed without requiring us to enter number A and B. Else command will ask us to enter the correct function. We provide input for number A and B a numbers type is float so as to include decimal values as well. We shall use else if command to include the number of function as we desire. Here we use our calculator. We strongly recommend that you follow our sequence of videos on Python to fully understand concepts and move on to next level. Please subscribe to stay updated.